YouTube, what's going on, man? It's your boy Fly Guy Only Man back at it again with another video. Hope everybody out there is having a blessed one, a safe one. I promise one, you already know we rocking bullet on a bit, man. A mine, say mine. Back at it again with some more videos, man. You already know how we rocking, man. I got a video right here. Four signs that your girl, your old lady, your significant other is cheating on you. First of all, before we even start this video off, right? Um, I've been working on uh different little uh uh headset qualities and stuff like that and, and mic qualities and stuff like that i don't know i went brain dead right there um for my videos when i do it like this um you know i got you know big ass professional 400 dollar mics and stuff like that but a lot of times when i be doing these videos right here i'll be doing them off either my phone or off my ipad and shit and man look i don't feel like running my goddamn ipad do goddamn you know what i'm saying the computer and stuff like that just to do this real quick man you know what i'm saying i know some oh, why you just don't do it on your piece man look man look i like doing it on a pad because i'd be actually sitting here seeing all this stuff right here and i'd be like man you know what i'm gonna do a video real quick boom bada bing you know what i'm saying i'd be trying to knock it out real quick so excuse the quality that we had for the last previous videos i was doing them uh off my uh ear pods uh these right here is my uh steel series uh uh whatchamacallit uh mic right here uh these little uh headset microphone and stuff like that about 300 so hopefully the quality is a little bit better but i just want to put that out there real quick if the quality been kind of bad and stuff like that for the last couple videos and stuff uh hopefully y'all big hitter fools work with me you know what i mean hey some of y'all should be worse than mine you did but let's go ahead and jump into this man shall we man four signs that your girl may be cheating on you okay again Hey, hold on, man. Already, already. I like your voice. Hold on a second. Like, your voice. I don't know, bro. It's something about a girl that has like that. I don't know what that is, bro. It's like a, it's like a Northeast type of, like, 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 like New York, New Jersey type of, you know what I'm saying? Accent. You know what I'm saying? And like, bro, this is going to sound crazy to you, right? I probably only ran across, right? one female that somewhat sounds like that i don't know man it's just something about that voice man like she's sexy she's gorgeous but she got that like if she was to talk crazy bro that she would sound kind of you know what i'm saying kind of decent like damn baby you sound kind of cute with your little your little hostile little feisty ass man you know what i'm saying I, I, i'm finna go ahead and give you this little you know what I'm saying verbal uh uh wordplay real quick man but you know what i'm saying that that voice kind of decent though i fucks with it man you know some females be trying to sound all sexy all the time and shit like that, and that shit don't even be working. You know what I'm saying? How the fuck you trying to sound sexy and shit, and bitch? Yo ass look like motherfucking uh, Darius Miles from the Portland Trailblazers. Like, get your big black body ass up out of here trying to sound sexy and shit. But I just had to throw that out there real quick. But let's see what she talking about. This is not surefire. There may be other excuses but or other things going on, but this is this. these are four signs. Number one is that they become more secretive. They get, become more private about their phone, about their Instagram, about their Facebook, who they talking to, who they spending time with. That's a sign. Number two. Hey, I mean, look, check this out, right? That right there should be already a given. Hey, I can tell the route that she's going. Like, she's saying some, like, Ebonics, ABC, one, two, three type shit, bro. Like, I bet money the shit that she's saying, bro, is shit that you big hit a motherfucker should already know, bro. Like, certain things, bro, should be things that people should already know. Now, the people that subscribes to the page and the people that, you know, catches my videos in the near future and stuff like that or whatever, I'm going to talk about shit that's not as common as a lot of things that you might see on social media and stuff like that when it comes to, you know, trying to catch a motherfucker if they doing some blase, blase, all that little shit, right? I'm going to talk about shit that's so uncommon, you just going to sit there with your mind blown and be like, wow. I never thought of that, bro. I'm going to tell y'all fools something, bro. I know a lot of y'all look at me and be like, man, Flint, God, that's, man, you be around women all the time. Bro, it's a blessing and a curse, bro. I'm trying to tell you. It's a blessing and a curse, bro. Yes, it's cool that, you know what I'm saying, I know a lot of women. I done, I done been with a lot of women. I done had relations with But at the same token, though, it's a curse, bro. I'm trying to tell you, like, these other motherfuckers, they're going to sit there and just glorify all the good shit. I'm going to talk about the good shit and also the bad shit, the negative shit. This shit ain't all rose petals right here, bro. Knowing and being and, you know what I'm saying, being and entwined with all these bitches throughout my life and shit. This ain't no rose petal type of episode, bro. You feel me? Like, can I keep it all the way 100, you fools, real quick? If it was up to me, right, I wish I could have had that whole 
you met a girl in high school, y'all dated, y'all stayed together, y'all had kids, y'all built a relationship, y'all built a family, and y'all live uh, happy ever uh, after. I wish I could have had that, dog. I'm not even going to stun on you, bro. I ain't going to. So when I see niggas that got that shit, bro, I be like, bro, you man, if she truly a good woman, you better keep that shit. You feel me? But that ain't how my life played out. You feel me? But uh, I can tell already, man. A lot of this shit is going to be shit that motherfuckers should already know. But look, check this out, right? Secretive type shit and stuff like that. Um, The number one causing thing when it comes to like secretive shit and stuff like that is definitely the phone and the social media and stuff like that, man. Like certain things you just got to pay attention to and just peep, bro. Like just peep, bro. Like it confuses me how niggas can sit there and peep game on, you know, saying shit in the streets, but they can't peep game on what they bitch is doing. See, I'm going to tell y'all how I move and operate, right? The same way how I move and operate and peep, you know what I'm saying, you know, the scene and shit like that when it comes to niggas in the streets and stuff like that and dealing with that type of aspect is the same type of uh, a lifestyle and the same type of mindset that I use when it comes to dealing with these bitches, bro. And when you really put it in a uh, simplicity type of uh, uh, atmosphere, you quickly realize that those type of avenues are one and one with each other. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not hard to catch a motherfucker being sneaky, bro. It's not hard. You know what I'm saying? Like, with the whole phone shit and stuff like that, if the bitch, you know what I'm saying, uh, always got her phone on do not disturb, always got her phone on silent and shit like that. How, Florida, how do I supposed to know if she got it on do not disturb or silent? Bro, you just got to pay attention sometimes, bro. Like, if the bitch is looking like she's typing some shit and stuff like that, glance over. You can tell when a motherfucker, especially with these phones these days, bro, the phone is like the size of a motherfucking TV, bro. The phones be big as hell, bro. So it's not hard to glance over and see what type of app she's in. And you can easily, quickly see if the bitch is in, uh, you know, Messenger or some shit like that. Woo, woo, or she just typing away and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, just peep game on that shit. And then you should have the mindset and the mentality to sit there and be like, okay, she's texting and typing to somebody, woo woo, woo but I ain't hear no ding. Y'all know the iPhone shit, the ding, ding, ding. I didn't hear that. So that right there should already let you know that her phone is on silent. Her phone is on do not disturb. You feel me? And nine times out of ten, bro, I'm not even going to lie to you, bro. Like, a lot of bitches do that shit just to do that shit. Like, they sometimes, like, just self-consciously just do that shit, bro. You feel me? Like, I remember I was uh, around a little chick or whatever the case may be, right? And, um, you know, we 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 didn't go out. We never had no sexual relations or nothing. Like, we were just cool. We were just cool. We, we knew each other from school and shit like that or whatever. And motherfuckers just cool and shit like that. Just talking some shit, catching up on old times and shit like that, right? But the few little times that I was around her, it was the same type of episode. It's like, damn, bitch, like, I'm not trying to be your man, nor am I your man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like fuck you got your phone on but like i said though i had to sit there and realize like a lot of females sometimes do that shit just self-consciously but if you're in a uh in a relationship or whatever you know what i'm saying that's the shit that you just gotta peep out because i bet money and i'm sure a lot of you niggas can you know what i'm saying vouch for this shit i bet money if your bitch was to peep game on what you were doing on your phone and you had your phone on do not disturb or silent and woo woo stuff like that. I bet money it'll raise an eyebrow on her side and she'll be like, why your phone on do not disturb? Why your phone on silent? See, me, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I do this shit on some petty shit. See, y'all gotta realize, I'm a motherfucking Gemini. So, I go off of what other people give me. If I f- see that, or right, you always got your phone on silent, woo woo and stuff like that, alright, I'm gonna keep my phone on silent, like, you know what I'm saying, like, I, I, I don't know why, and it's not a good way, it's not a good trait, I really be trying to break out of this habit right here, but that tick for tack shit, bro, like, I, I have that shit sometimes kind of bad, bro, cause I be feeling like motherfuckers be trying to play me sometimes, I be like, man, what the fuck, you got your phone on silent and shit like that, like, bitch, we ain't fucking, I ain't your motherfucker boyfriend, nor do I wanna be your motherfucker, but you know what I'm saying, like, I, I start getting that, that prideful ass spirit, starts to take over me bro i'm sorry but for people that's in relationships though that's the shit that you guys gotta peep bro and just pay attention to and stuff like that i don't advise none of you niggas to be going through your bitch phone because i'm sorry bro and this is just how i feel bro you're gonna find something in that phone that you don't want to see i'm gonna tell you that right now so for you to like not even 
go through that episode you know i don't advise nobody to go through nobody's phone and shit like that but at the same token though just pay attention though man like just pay attention man you know what i'm saying like you gotta realize man these 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 females bro they got every motherfucking social media app on their motherfucking phone from you know twitter instagram facebook um tiktok um what else uh snapchat all that shit they got all this shit on their motherfucking phone right and with them having all this shit on their motherfucking phone and shit like that, all these motherfucking apps and shit, you know what I'm saying, a motherfucking can, you know what I'm saying, slide in their DMs, get at them, woo, and all that old shit, you know what I'm saying? And you know for a fact, with them especially being the female, and you know, not even just the social media, like, you know, uh, you know, messenger apps, even just, just apps in general. You know what I'm saying? You know these motherfuckers don't be... Because I'm one of them people that... I don't have notifications for all these random ass apps. Like, I turn that shit off. The only notification I have is for, like, Snapchat, Facebook, uh, Instagram. You know, like, shit that a motherfucker can message me on. All them other apps, I don't be having notifications for that shit. Even my... When it comes to my uh, emails, shit, I don't got notifications for that shit. Cause my shit will be going off 24-7. And I'm a nigga. So just imagine a bitch shit, right? So you just got to peep game and stuff like that. Like, if you want to hear that motherfucker dinging and shit like that, man, then that should let you know right there that, you know what I'm saying, her phone is not do not disturb. Now, like I said, she might not be doing nothing, but it's also, you know what I'm saying, uh, should raise the eyebrow and just peep game and just pay attention. You know what I mean? Especially, you know, when y'all out and about or something like that, and let's say y'all out for, I don't know, lunch or some shit like that at a restaurant or whatever, and... She hit, you know, grab her phone real quick, say some shit, text some shit, woo, and stuff like that. And then she put the phone down face first. You know, just pay attention to that. Now, like I said, sometimes that's just out of instincts. That's just out of instincts sometimes. But still, though, pay attention to that shit, though. Like, damn, bitch, fuck you got your phone face down for and shit like that. Woo, you know what I'm saying? Like, just, just, just peep game on certain shit and stuff like that, man. You know what I mean? Like, I always have this type of rule of thumb right here, bro. Um... When you have a female, and this has always been my mindset right here, when you have a female and she's, you know what I'm saying, attractive, you got to realize something. From everybody that's outside to everybody that's on social media, blase, blase, they trying to get at her. And when she's bombarded by, let's just say, a thousand people a day, do you really think that she ignored or say no to a thousand people per day, bro? Like, sometimes you just got to think in that type of atmosphere. You feel me? You just got to think of that type of atmosphere. But definitely, man, you got to pay attention to that phone, man. Pay attention to them social media sites and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Like, certain posts and shit that she might be posting and shit. Like, like just peep game on certain shit like that. You know what I mean? Like, uh, you know, uh, when it comes to uh, liking pictures and shit like that or whatever. Uh, when it comes to her friends and stuff like that, like on social media and stuff, or who she's following, like just pay attention to certain shit like that. You know what I mean? Like, look at certain shit like if she posts a picture and shit like that or whatever, and you know uh, a nigga or something like that likes it or whatever the case may be, go on his page and check and see if she liking shit over there or commenting over there or woo and stuff like that. Like you just gotta sometimes follow the paper chair bro this is sometimes follow shit bro like see where it leads you to and stuff like that and a lot of times you will get your motherfucking answer just by doing simple shit like that like i said bro what she's saying in this shit is kind of like abc one two three but it's shit that a lot of people don't pay attention to though they become suspicious more suspicious about what you've got going on and you know your patterns haven't changed hold on, hold on. Let's, let's play that back let's play that back let's play that back that's a sign. Number two, they become suspicious, more suspicious about what you've got going on. And you know your patterns haven't changed. Okay? That's a sign. Number three. Hey, hey, this right here, I'm, I'm not even going to hold you. This right here, a lot of people do not even peep this right here, bro. I ain't going to hold you, gang. Like, this right here is basically the sign of guilt. You feel me? And when I say the sign of guilt, a lot of people, you know what I'm saying, when they're doing something and they know that it's contrary, they know that it's wrong and stuff like that, uh, towards their significant other or whatever, they get a, a sign of guilt and they try to, you know, find a reason or, 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 or find a solution or whatever to justify what they're doing. So I'll give you a prime example, right? Um, let's say let's say a bitch that you fucking with, right? Like your bitch, right? Hold on, let me hit my vape real quick. Let's say your bitch, right, is uh entertaining some nigga or some shit like that or whatever. 
and um she know that this shit is wrong she she's starting to get that little you know that sign of guilt and stuff like that on her and stuff like that or whatever you know what i'm saying but uh she wants to uh you know start going through your shit um you know going through your facebook uh going through your phone going through your messages just to find one reason just one reason to justify the things that she's doing So she could be sitting here entertaining a nigga and shit like that. And she finally gets that whole, you know, that guilty conscience starts to pop out and stuff like that. So now she's going and and looking through your shit and stuff like that. And, you know, who is this bitch? That's my cousin. Oh, who's this bitch? That's my sister. Who's this bitch? That's my mom. She's trying to find a reason to justify the dumb shit that she's doing. You know what I mean? Just like if a bitch, uh... You know what I'm saying? Slip up and give another nigga some pussy and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? All she gonna do is try her hardest to justify the reason of what she did wasn't crazy. So she gonna be going through your shit and, and you know, blaming you on certain things. And, well, you 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 knew it. Like, bitch, I haven't changed. I've been the same nigga since you met me. The fuck is you talking about? Well, you be doing, bitch, I haven't changed, though. That's the problem. You're saying that I'm doing this. I haven't changed. I've been doing that since day one until now. Bitch, before you got with me, I was doing this. Whatever it may be. You know, but she picking that shit. Bitch, I was doing this before you met me. I've been doing this since you knew me. And I'm doing this to this day. And now this is a motherfucking problem. No, it's not a motherfucking problem. It's just that she's trying to justify her uh, foolish ways and her foolish actions and stuff like that. And, um, you know, say trying to put some blame on you so she can sit there and be at ease in her head and be like, oh, OK, well, it makes sense now. That's why I was doing it. You know, it's, it's stupid ass goofy shit, bro. This stupid ass goofy shit, man. You know what I'm saying? And I'm seeing a lot of niggas. And I, I ain't gonna lie to you. All right. I didn't been at fault for this. I didn't went through this before. Um. Uh, dealing with a little bitch and shit like that or whatever and um the little bitch was uh you know what I'm saying out here uh dirty pussy and stuff like that and you know i could tell like she started changing the shit or whatever because you know what i'm saying she sat uh sat there and started you know what I'm saying putting blame towards me for shit that i've been doing since day one like i've been doing this shit like bitch before i met you and while we was going and shit like that it was never no issue no problem for me to go to the club with my homies but now all of a sudden it's the issue oh, what you at the club for I, I i know your niggas and shit like that they hoes and woo woo and the same birds of the same flock flock together and blue you know just trying to pass bullshit to try to justify what the fuck her little goof ass is doing and shit like that and that's what a lot of these bitches do man you know what i mean it's a guilty conscience that's all it is it's a guilty fucking conscience you know what i'm saying Bitch sitting there and now, you know, never went through my phone before and shit like that. Now, every day she going through my motherfucking phone and shit like that. Woo woo. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers call my phone. I used to sit my phone out all the goddamn time. Motherfucker phone ring. Motherfucker would never look at my phone. Now she looking at my phone. Phone ring. I'm in the bathroom. Phone in in, 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 uh, in the bedroom and shit like that. Somebody called you. Why the number ain't say who Who number is that? Like, bitch, shut your goof ass up. Like, it's a guilty conscience. That's all it is. Is a guilty conscience. Like, shit that you've been doing, now all of a sudden it's an issue. Like, make that shit make sense to me. Like, I'm sorry, but when you really, like, sit back and, like, really look at how this shit goes and shit like that, like, it's really just all mind play, bro. It's just all mind play. And if you're witty enough to peep what's going on, you can save yourself a lot of time and hassle of sitting there being in doubt. Is she doing something? Is she not doing something? Blah, blah, blah. It's all mind play. That's all it is. You got to look at behavior. Actions and behavior speak louder than anything else. That's what I tell people all the time. Pay attention to people's actions and pay attention to people's behavior. And you will pick up on these signs like that. Like you don't even have to get a, a second opinion or or or, or get a, you know a confirmation, nothing like that. I mean it's good to get that, but you can do it on your own behalf if you just pay attention. That's the problem with a lot of you niggas. A lot of you niggas don't pay attention because you're too wrapped up into the bitch, you're too wrapped up in the pussy, you don't pay attention. And the reason why I'm going to talk to you like that because I'm not going to sit here and lie, uh, lie like these other niggas that be on Facebook or or, or, or Snapchat or, or Instagram or, or YouTube and shit like that that be trying to give y'all 
you know what I'm saying, these these uh, uh profound ass stories. No, no, no. I'm I'm gonna tell you, you know what I'm saying, that not only I know how to peep game from this shit, but the reason why I know how to peep game from this shit is because I went through this shit. Everything that I'm hearing and seeing and what y'all be, I didn't went through that shit, dog. I didn't went through that shit, bro. Like, there's nothing that you can sit here and tell me that I haven't been through when it comes to dealing with a bitch. I have went through it. I have experienced it in some type of form or fashion. That's why I keep on telling you. Me being around and knowing and, 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 and you know what I'm saying, being uh, dealing with bitches, you know what I'm saying, for a very long time and stuff like that, it's a blessing and it's also a curse. You feel me? But shit like this, bro. You know what I'm saying? You just got to pay attention, man. Just pay attention. That's all this shit is right here. Just paying attention. Let's go ahead and see what her next, uh, what is it, number three? Let's see what number three is. Is that they start wanting more alone time, more girl time out of nowhere. It's like, you know, normally she would go out once in a while, but now she's trying to go out all the time and not be spending time with you. And she doesn't have her phone on her. Her phone's off while she's out. Yeah, that's a sign. Number four. Hey, another, another dead giveaway ass sign. No, another did giveaway sign. Like, first of all, I'm gonna tell you like this, right? I'm gonna tell you like this. Um, I don't, I don't know what type of uh, you know, operation you niggas be trying to uh, uh, dwell in and shit. You know, you know, dealing with a bitch that when you met her, she was a club body ass bitch, and you thought that you can change her. Like, I, I, I never understood you type of niggas right there. Now, for my other niggas that is dealing with a bitch and she wasn't going to the club, she wasn't out with her friends 24-7, and then, you know, throughout, you know, the duration of the relationship, you know, something transpired or something like that, and now she started to spend more frequently time with her friends or, you know, oh, I'm finna go out with my girls or woo woo. I can understand you niggas because at first she wasn't doing that, so I can understand you niggas, but for you other niggas, that when you met the bitch, she was always at the club. She was always with her girlfriends. And you thought that you can change the bitch? Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you deserve to have whatever comes about that shit come about. You feel me? Because that's stupid right there. Why would you deal with a bitch that's going to the club every fucking weekend? Why would you deal with a bitch that every time you see her, she with her? Why would you deal with that bitch? Like, that bitch right there is definitely a bitch that you just fuck and just move on. Just have a good time with her, walk that mama shit like that, and move the fuck on. But a lot of you niggas be trying to wife shit like that, and I be looking like, dog, like, <laughs> what, like, hold on, hold on a second, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, fuck on, bro. You mean to sit here and tell me that you met this bitch at the club, right? She with her girls and shit like that, woo, -woo getting drunk and all that old dumb ass shit, right? You fucked the bitch the first night, right? And, and why you sitting there in the bed after she done fucked you good, sucked you good, you know what I'm saying, got your mind just mesmerized. You came up with the brilliant idea like, man, you know what? I ain't getting no younger. I think I'm finna wife this bitch. And I can change her. Bro, you sound stupid, bro. You sound stupid as fuck, bro. Like, like you, you sound stupid. That you really think that you can do that shit, bro. Like, come on, man. I'm going to keep it all the way funky with y'all motherfuckers, right? I ain't dealing with no bitch that wants to be around her friends 24-7. I ain't dealing with no bitch that wants to go to the club 24-7. I'm not dealing with that shit. Bitch, if you want to do that shit, then you can be with them bitches. But I ain't going to have no types of parts with this shit. Fuck is you talking about? I'm not going to deal with that shit. The fuck do I look like? I'm not finna deal with no bitch that wants to be uh, seen and be at the club 24-7. Bitch, stop it. All we gonna do is fuck, have a good little time and shit like that, and that's it. Bitch, don't take no picture of me. Don't, 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 don't at me in no status. Don't do none of that goof ass shit. We just fucking around, having a little fun and shit like that. Then, you know what I'm saying, when motherfuckers get bored of each other, you get bored of me or I get bored of you, whatever transpires, we gonna move the fuck around, and that's it. Good day. Good evening. You feel me? Like, that's how I'm gonna rock out. I'm not finna even sit there even second guess me. Oh, I think I can man the fuck out of here, man. I don't, I don't got time for that goof ass shit, man. Bitch wanna be at a club every weekend and shit like that. Like it's like I told y'all. Maybe there's one little club that I be uh checking out and shit like that, right? Um, that's around the way from my crib and shit or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I usually uh 
uh, head up there on a Friday or some shit like that or whatever. Um, and every time I go up in there, right, it's, it's decent little bitches up in there and shit like that. The majority of them is uh, Latinas and shit like that or whatever. But it be the same group of bitches in there 24, 7, 365. Like every time I come in that bitch, these bitches are in there. It could be raining outside. These bitches are in there. It could be 150 degrees outside. These bitches are in there. It could be a blizzard outside. The world's come. These bitches are in there. Jesus just came. Back. These bitches are in there. You feel me? And when I go in there, I'm not going in there with the mindset of I'm trying to wife one of you hoes. I'm trying to date one of you bitches. No, 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 no. It's none of that. Bitch, I'm going to get at a bitch. We're going to do our little thing and shit like that. If it gets to that point, then we're going to move around. I'm not even going to even sit here and entertain your ass that much. If I get your number and shit like that, bitch, and you don't fuck within that first night or within the first two weeks, bitch, I, your number got lost. I don't know what happened. Somebody reset my phone or some shit, man, delete all my content. I don't know what the fuck happened. Like, I'm not even finna play with you. Like, bitch, you got two weeks, 14 days to give up some ass. <laughs> and I'm moving around. And, and you lucky I'm giving you that much motherfucking time. The fuck? Like, I didn't gave... I didn't gave bitches in better positions less time than that. The fuck wrong with you? I think I'm finna sit here and entertain and 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 play these little games with a bitch that is at, that's at the club every motherfucking weekend and shit like that. Drunk, being belligerent, and come get the fuck out of here. Like <laughs> you niggas be crazy, bro. I'm not even for a second for to even sit there and I, bro, I didn't see niggas, bro. I didn't see niggas, bro. Sit there and catch up with bitches at the club and shit like that or whatever. And we know, he knows, I know that this bitch is always at the club and shit. He finally get the number. And I'm like, dog, you still you still fucking with that bitch? Oh, yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm still trying to fuck this little bit. Bro, it's been like a month, bro. You, you didn't went over there to a crib like three times already. You still ain't fucking that bitch? Ah, hey man, you you niggas is raised differently, bro. Like you niggas got more patience than I do, bro. Like I'm sorry, you niggas. I think that comes with just y'all niggas being raised by y'all mama, so y'all be having a little sympathy for you know what I'm saying, bro. I was raised by my mama and daddy, bro. Like I will move around quick. I don't give a fuck. Fuck out of here. But back to because I kind of uh, steered off a little bit, but back to uh, relationship wise and stuff like that. You niggas need to stop dealing with bitches like that. If a bitch want to start being around her little her little uh, uh, single ass girlfriends and shit like that all the time more than your ass, bro, that's an issue. That's a problem. You need to address that. Stop playing and address that. Oh, well, uh, you know, I put up with it because, you know, she allows me to go out. So when I go out, she go. Bro, that sounds stupid. That, uh, that, 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 that sounds stupid. So so you sitting here. Wait a bit. Wait. Little, 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 my, my head can't even wrap around this. Wait a minute. So you're sitting here making deals with the bitch. And the deal is every time that you go out, she goes out. So every time that you go out, you got to go out with your friends. And she got to go out. Bro, that sounds stupid. And I know a lot of y'all that does shit like that. And I know there's a lot of you females that'll sit there and try to argue with that shit. Well, well he's going out with his friends. So why I can't go out with my friends? Baby, look, check this out, right? There's a difference between when men go out, they're out amongst themselves and shit like that. They're out having fun amongst themselves and stuff like that. Ain't no bitch coming over there and finna talk to them unless that nigga goes over there and talks to them. That's the only way it's gonna happen. Like you do you know how this shit works? Like once again, baby, when you go outside, everybody from the mailman to the milkman, to the police officer that's riding down the street, to, 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 everybody is trying to holler at you. So, you think it's going to be any different you going to a club where motherfuckers are drinking and, and under the influence of drugs and narcotics? You think it's going to be anything different? No, it's going to be intensified. That motherfucker is going to be in your motherfucking face. And with you being a woman, a woman is governed by what? Her emotions. You probably left the house mad at me today. You you probably left the house a little upset today. Now you're in your feelings. And with you being under the influence of alcohol, and maybe you smoke, so you under that too as well. 
you're already not in the right state of mind to make the right type of judgment. And then on top of that, you got your single ass girlfriends that's sitting there hyping you up, gassing you up and shit like that. Telling your ass, bitch, you finna come out with us. Don't be born. Ooh, all that shit. You know how we rock. So now you're trying to keep up with the Joneses. So now you're doing what they're doing. And before you know it, you didn't holler at a nigga. A nigga didn't holler at you. You gave him play. You you gave him, you know what I'm saying, uh, 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 entertainment and stuff like that. Before you know it, <laughs> you sucking dick. Like, make that shit make sense to me. Like, nah, I don't, man, hell nah. Look, I tell motherfuckers this all the time, man. If you can't get with the program, man, you can get lost. Simple as that. I'm not finna sit here and make no deals with no bitch. Simple as that. I'm not finna do it. I'm not finna do it. You know how many times I go to the motherfucking club and I'm just there just because of my homeboys? Like, I'm not even trying to holler at no bitch. I'm just there, man, just because it's something to do. Like, I'm just chilling. I'm just cooling. That's it. That's all. Like, I'm not even worried about these bitches. Like, I'm more here for... My nigga birthday, or I'm more here for a nigga that just got out, or I'm here for a nigga that just, you know what I'm saying, he he did something, you know what I'm saying, that he he's proud of, you know, accomplishment in, in his life or something like that. He might just got a house or or you know, whatever. You know, he just graduated, you know, whatever. You know, I'm out for, for them. I'm not out, man. I'm not out to holler at no bitch. The fuck I'll be chilling, bro. Like, it's crazy. Y'all gonna think this shit crazy, right? But <laughs> Bitches be more or less coming up to me trying to holler at me than me actually trying to go up to them and holler at them. Like, I be chilling, man. But to get back on subject, though, you know what I'm saying? Nine times out of ten, when a nigga go out with his guys and shit like that, <laughs> that nigga ain't holler at no bitch. That nigga ain't doing shit. That nigga, man, come on, man. Y'all, y'all, y'all be giving y'all, uh, Y'all be giving y'all boyfriends or whatever uh, too much benefit of the doubt. Like, they just that dude. I know, baby, that in your eyes, you really think that, you know what I'm saying, your, your, your boyfriend, your husband, your boo-boo, your boo thing, all that old dumbass shit is really that dude in your eyes. But in, in reality, though, that motherfucker's an L7. Like, he, he, he an L7. He, he ain't doing shit, baby. He a lame just like you. He, he ain't doing shit. He ain't doing shit, baby. I can just tell you that he ain't doing shit. He love you too goddamn much. Motherfucker be crying. He he love you too goddamn. He ain't doing shit. But I'm not um finna sit there and uh like I said, I'm not finna sit there and uh, uh entertain, you know what I'm saying, my girl that I'm sitting here, you know, telling the world that, you know what I'm saying, she's my girl. I'm not finna sit here and entertain my girl. You know, I'm sitting here taking photos with my mama and daddy, you know what I'm saying, and met her and all this stuff. So I'm I'm not finna sit there and entertain her going out to the club every weekend with her girls no 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 i'm not finna entertain that shit not at all not in the slightest like i'm not for the slightest finna entertain that shit you know what i'm saying if you want to do that shit you can do that shit on your own behalf and you can be single or or deal with old suck ass nigga that allow you to do that shit they ain't got no motherfucker backbone he allows you to do that shit. yeah deal with him that's the type of nigga that you want that's why i tell a lot of you girls that y'all truly ain't wifey material y'all truly single girlfriends that's what y'all is the way that y'all carry and product y'all y'all single girlfriends, bro. Simple as that. Like not even in the slightest do y'all even come off as being wifey material. Not even in the slightest. And we ain't even talking about, you know what I'm saying, the other shit. You know, we talk about some minute ass shit, you know, club wise and shit like that. We're not even talking about the big fish in the room, you know what I'm saying, financially and all that old shit. We're not even talking about that. So if you can't even get, you know what I'm saying, the uh the criteria right for the little shit. <laughs> Bitch, I could just imagine when it comes to the big shit. Like, watch out. Hey, move the fuck around. The fuck is you telling me? Or, this is another sign. Is that she starts inserting doubts. Like, doubts and saying, oh, I don't think this relationship is going to work because you do this or you do that. Just starting to find negative nitpick about negative things about y'all relationship dynamic that she hasn't done before to insert doubt. about. For some now, when it comes to that last one, um, I'm going to say this. Um. Like I said, a lot of this shit is just going off the behalf of what shit that I went through and stuff like that. You know, other people's shit might be different. Y'all might went through uh, different things and stuff like that. Blah, blah, blah. I get it. Right. So I only can talk about what I have been through. Um, I never. Uh, let me make sure. I, let me see, make sure. Yeah, I never I never dealt with a woman that sat there and, oh, this ain't going to work out and blue, 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 and blah, blah, blah. I, I never I never dealt with that shit or you know her saying that but what i have dealt with is um a woman 
um, sitting there uh, basically, uh, you know, uh, nitpicking at just any and everything. Like she just got like a, a a constant attitude with me and stuff like that. I have been through that. Um, and the one thing that I peep right, because this is the one thing that I uh, I tell, uh, you know, what I'm saying uh, females that I have dealt with that has uh, tried to you know play that type of role and shit like that, is that once again you got to pay attention to how she's acting. If she's having a, a you know a constant attitude with you and stuff like that, but when it comes to her girlfriends or other people and stuff like that, you know she's you know back to her old ways, you know smiling and joking and hee hee ha ha and stuff like that. But when it comes to you, those is automatic. She got an attitude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to check that. You need to check that, and, and see where you know what I'm saying where is that coming from. You know what I'm saying? Definitely see where that's coming from. Because that right there is a tail sign of there's some type of discrepancy going on in this relationship. Like, bitch, every time I try to talk to you and shit like that, you got a motherfucker attitude. You got your mouth fixed up. You know what I'm saying? Your lips poked out and shit. You're rolling your eyes and all that old shit. But as soon as your friends come around or as soon as random people talk to you, you back to smiling and cheesing and just looking all happy and, and cheerful and stuff like that. Like, bitch, what's going on? You know what I mean? See, I have went through shit like that. I haven't went through no shit where, you know, the bitch was bold enough to just come out and just be like, oh, I don't know, I'm having second thoughts about this and woo woo and all, you know, all that old crybaby ass. I haven't really, you know, had to deal with that, but that is true though. Um, pay attention, man. It's it, it all like I said, all of this shit is just paying attention, paying attention, paying attention. If you pay attention and use common sense, common knowledge, don't go off of what your heart is saying. Go off of what your mental is saying. You will pick up on all these little traits right here for you can sit there and determine that my girl is doing something or she's not doing something. Like, it's very simple, very easy. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, I don't want to hold y'all too long when it comes to this shit because I, I told y'all. When I get to talking, bro, I can just keep on talking. But uh, I rocks with this, though. I, I fucks with it, though. You know what I'm saying? So make sure uh, y'all give her a... Uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm following shit like that or whatever the case may be. But you already know, man. It is your boy, Flag Guy Only, man. Back at it again with another one, man. Make sure y'all rate, subscribe, comment, all that good old stuff. Uh, follow me on all social media platforms. You already know Flag Guy Only 773 across the net. I will definitely pop up. But other than that, though, nothing but peace, love, and blessings and positivity. I'm up out of here, man. Y'all be smooth, man. And gone, man. Holla at me in the next.